Hello guys, this is Mad King Cordero here with another video for you. This time it's about my Apex 80 Epson printer. It's a 9 pin dot matrix printer from 1987. I bought it at Goodwill for something like 12 bucks, I think. And uh, it hasn't gotten too much use, but it works freaking amazingly, and I'm just dying to use it on something. Um, KJ uh, asked about it in a, another video when he saw it in the background, or I mentioned it or something, I don't remember exactly what the details were, but uh, here it is, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate it. I've got a bit of the Windows 98 SE README, and you'll see shortly that I need a new ink cartridge. I almost forgot the paper. <laughs> right back. Okay, back with the paper. Let's go ahead and put that in. Now, as you'll notice, I don't have the tractor feed thing. It wasn't in the box, and uh, I only have the manual feed option for this printer. Oop. So, I have to feed the page one at a time, which is kind of annoying. Um, let's see. I think right about there is where I want to have it. So, we'll go ahead and do that. And hopefully it won't get jammed on the inside. I've seen that happen before. So, let's go ahead and try and print the paper here see what happens. Uh, I'll print it once with the cover on so you can see how loud it is with the cover on. Um, this probably doesn't help the fact that it's sitting on a metal filing cabinet which acts kind of like a drum underneath but um, we'll go ahead and print anyway so let's do that right now. Ah! Yep. Yeah, that's what I thought. And as you can see, the plastic cover muffles it quite nicely. Sorry for that hitch there, or hiccup right there. I just had a little bit of a problem getting it to work. Uh, I don't know what the deal was there. Okay, that's done printing. As you can see, I didn't quite line up the page right, so it printed a lot farther down than it should have been. It should have started probably around here, and the bottom would have been up a little bit higher. But hopefully you can see that it prints pretty good quality, albeit the fact that it is a little bit light. I think that's because of the cartridge I'm using might be a little bit dried up. Um, probably if I added a little bit of uh, machine oil or something to the typewriter ribbon, or <laughs> typewriter ribbon, <laughs> print ribbon, then it would be um, perfectly fine, uh, or if I went ahead and bought another ribbon, uh, and not one of those cheap Chinese ones. So, let's go ahead and print the same document this time, but with the cover off, so you can actually watch this thing in action, and you can hear it at full volume. I'm back again, and we'll go ahead and put the page in this time. Try and get it as correct as possible. 
I'm thinking right about there or something like that. So let's go ahead and print again. Oh, print. It does this every time, and I'm not sure why. Okay. I think it did a much better time, much better job lining it up this time. So as you can hear, it's much louder without the piece of plastic there covering the print head. Let me just go ahead and zoom in on it so you can see it a little bit better. And there we go. As you can see, this time I did a much better job lining it up. It actually looks like it was done on a regular printer or something. So, there we go. My 9-pin dot matrix printer from 1987. Going strong and definitely worth all of the $12 I paid for it. Right now I have it hooked to my Windows 98 machine. Which, let me back up here and I'll show that. Okay, and as you can see here, I have it hooked right to this computer, but not the one shown here. This monitor is hooked to a KVM, as well as this keyboard and mouse. Here is the compact mouse from 1994. Um, I actually have it hooked to a computer down here. Let me show you. Here, here, here. And unscrew the right thing. There we go. And there it is. My... 1996 Packard Bell Platinum 55, which is featured in that Sound Blaster video that I posted a while ago, um, with the song Air something or other. I don't really remember what it's called now, but and you can see the KVM right there. KVM, my router, that that is my Packard Bell 812 CD. It's Legend 812 CD from 1995. It has Windows 95 on it. Um, I will be covering that later. I picked that up recently for free and had to do quite a lot to get it working. But definitely worth it because I have another Packard Bell! Blah, 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 blah. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> very exciting stuff. Uh, and my custom Packard Bell background. Voila! Da, 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 which you can get off my DeviantArt page. Speaking of web pages, though, I have built a Facebook page. Yes. Transcendental Airwaves now has a Facebook page, so feel free to subscribe to that, or like it, or whatever you call it, uh, and I will be posting my videos, comments, other things I find on, you know, or buy from eBay, or local thrift stores, or just things I find interesting, music, you know, anything I stumble across, and I feel like sharing with the rest of you guys, um, I will. So, thank you for watching, I'm Mad King Corduroy. And this is Transcendental Airwaves.